Today is your lucky day because this stud right here is gonna install these wheel studs into that project car. It's gonna be a good day. All right, you guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install wheel studs into your car. The car that we're going to be using today is going to be my Project E46 M3. This car happens to be a 2005. Um, this uh, install will be pretty much the same for all of the cars that have wheel bolt stock. And so here's a wheel bolt. And so you can see what it looks like. It just basically goes in here and it goes in between the wheel uh, and the hub, just like this. And so personally, I really don't like wheel bolts. Uh, I really prefer wheel studs. One of the main reasons is that uh, when you put the wheel onto the car, uh, you really have to finagle it in order to make sure that everything lines up with the holes. Uh, not, not my personal preference. Here are the wheel studs that we're gonna be using. Uh, these happen to be 75 millimeter. The most common applications for the BMWs are either 75 millimeter or 90. Um, so these are the 75. I went with 75 because the fronts, I'm not going to be using um, a spacer on. The rears, I will be using a spacer on, but the rears, I'm only gonna be using a 10 millimeter spacer. So 75 millimeter studs are good for up to 15 millimeter spacers. So I'm not gonna go over that, so don't really need it. However, if you're gonna go with a 15, you might as well go with a 90. The only thing is that uh, they're going to be about 15 millimeters longer out of the wheel. So some people don't really like how that looks, but uh, for me, 75 millimeters is fine. Um, almost all of them do come with new uh, lug nuts as well. So they're nothing really fancy. This is the one that we're going to be using on our car. I think these are probably steel. So they're a little bit heavier than the aluminums, but it's fine. Uh, the other thing is... I also have some Loctite. So uh, I'm going with red Loctite. You can go with blue Loctite. I picked red because for me, once these are on there, I'm not gonna take them out for probably a couple years at least. Uh, I kind of consider them a wear item. So personally, uh, I will be replacing these probably once every two years or so. Could go with blue. Blue's a little bit easier to uh, take out later, but I don't think it's too bad with red either and red is in there a little bit tighter, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the red lock. Also, there are two different types of wheel studs. There's this kind, which is the hex Allen key. So here you just put in an Allen key to uh, have this nice and tight. The other, I believe they call it a bull nose, where this part is actually rounded off, and so in order to tighten it down, you'll have to use two nuts. So uh, I personally prefer this one, it's a lot easier to get on and off, and, and I don't want to have to double nut each one. So, hex it is. All right, so it might be hard to see, but I do have some Loctite on there. It's already in the threads. So now, put it in here, just like that. You can see some of the Loctite right there. Put it all the way in there. I typically like to do it by hand first. Then, Take your Allen key and finish it off. All right, all done. So all five of these are now installed and I torqued them down to about 85 foot pounds or so. Um, and so they're all ready to go. So now the only thing left to do is to install the wheel and you're all set. And in my opinion, this is a much, much easier and much nicer way than uh, having uh, wheel bolts. Personally, I really, really like the wheel studs. So hope this video was helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.